What's up guys, welcome back to episode 8 of our Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke where today we're going to go get some more encounters, get over hopefully to the next town. But I believe before we do that, we do have a rival battle to deal with. So we're going to go straight into this, we're going to jump straight into the content today guys. Let's have a look, we have got our rival here, Chad. Tell me something. Is it true the Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them. <laughs> Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. Chad being a Chad. I remember Chad for the main game, he's got that Haunter. Because that Haunter seemed determined every time I played Soul Silver to do me in by just using uh, like Curse of Spite. Oh my goodness, he's got a Gloom. It's an imposter. That Gloom. I'm telling you now, it's not real. That's not a real Gloom. We've got the real Gloom, Belladonna, in our party. We don't we don't want fake Glooms around here. Lucifer is poisoned. That is an annoyance. How dare you. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to get rid of this fake looking Belladonna. Look at it. Clearly that's not a real Gloom. That must have been a ditto or something. And Lucifer gonna get up to level 16 which is straight off the bat there he is poison though so we probably should switch out we've got an Ariados coming out we're gonna switch out into Zanzibar here I really like Zanzibar to learn, learn uh, like a ground type move now that would be clutch yeah like a ground type move here would be fantastic for the moment though we're gonna go uh, with the next best thing so we're gonna go with a rollout our speed's ha harshly fallen but uh, we were slower anyway it is super effective which is quite good uh, obviously that is gonna grow with time so we've got another rollout there is that gonna take him out takes the Arados out it's too easy it's like we're playing on easy mode right now I mean and we've got a Grimer coming out again. You know, we're just going to stay in. Lazy Chad sending out his Grimer. It is his ace at level 18. And it's got some evasion move. Oh, it's the tiny little brother of... Uh... No. It's the tiny brother of the atrocious muck from last episode. We are going to hit a rollout though, which is quite nice. Uh, I'd be... I was literally about to say I'd be surprised if we hit another one. I mean, we're definitely not going to hit another one now. Uh, what do we go with here? Let's just knock off in case you have got an item. I, I'd be surprised if you did, but maybe you've got a citrus berry or something. So we're just going to... We're going to... We're going to speed up here and try and get that knockoff off. Just in case there is a berry of some variety that isn't... Um, we've had our speed... And everything else broken here. We're going out into Belladonna. We'll see if we can paralyze this Grimer, maybe. Let's just paralyze this Grimer. Oh, that was a bad move. Oh, it literally, it's little muck 2.0. We've got accuracy dropping moves. We've got evasiveness from the Grimer. Now it's using Harden. This is exactly what the, Gri uh, the Grimer, the muck did last episode. It's very irritating. It's not a good time. Uh, right, I was coming out to paralyze this guy, but obviously there's nothing we can do here. Let's go into Pearl. Let's let's try for some confusion, maybe. Can we try for some confusion? Pearl hitting a water pulse, though. Thank you, Pearl. That's a decent amount of damage as well. One more should do it, unless he potions up. Is water pulse, like... A move that never misses that I don't know about. I'm actually going to check this after this battle. We defeated Lazy Chad either way. Hmm, useless Pokemon. Listen you, you only won because my Pokemon were weak. Poor, poor Builder blames his tools. I hate the weak. Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. It goes for Team Rocket too. I think they are big and tough as long as they're in a group. But get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. Stay out of my way. You won't be a subshin if you get in my way. Well, he's an angry so-and-so. Let's have a look at our Giratina. Giratina, Lucifer is shivering with the effects of being poisoned. 
and there's only one way you can help Lucifer out watchers at home. If you want to save Lucifer from his poisoning, you want to see Giratina survive for this entire series as our starter Pokemon, then you need to drop a like down below this video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing every subscribe is sending a prayer to Giratina and hoping that he will survive this Nuzlocke. As well as that, you know, if you press the notification bell next to it, you do uh, then get to follow along with this series. You'll get notified by YouTube every time we upload. And hopefully this series is going to go all the way. Uh, I'm trying to find some other stuff to do. I might, um, if we beat this Nuzlocke as well, uh, I am thinking maybe of doing something a little different. Um, changing some rules up because that will be two in a row that we've beaten. That will be two for two on the channel. Right now though, we are in Elix, Ilix Forest and we can get an encounter here before I move any further though. Have I got any balls? I do have some balls. I have 21 Pokeballs in fact. We're going to leave Donphan out front because uh, we've got knockoff. We probably should put Belladonna out front really for paralysing but it's a drowsy. It's not the worst thing in the world. I literally don't think we can hit you at all. So we are going to go out into Belladonna. Even though Belladonna is weak to Drowsy Stab. Is it going to have a Stab type move at this point? Is it going to have Hypnosis? That's quite irritating. Uh, let's go with Stun Spore. So we're going to paralyze this Drowsy. It's all good. Drowsy is paralyzed. Can we hit one Absorb? I feel like an Absorb's not going to knock you out. Come on. Come on, don't knock out this Drowsy. No, no, no. Oh, that was so close. You're going to put us to sleep. Belladonna doesn't mind. Belladonna, Belladonna needed a nap anyway. It's all good. Belladonna doesn't mind having a bit of a nap in the middle of the episode. It's all good. We're going to catch this Drowsy here. Hello. Drowsy, and there's only one nickname we can go with. But first, let's read this Pokedex entry. It's obviously a pure psychic type. It remembers every dream it eats. It rarely eats a dream of adults because children's are much tastier and also because it is an absolute creepy so-and-so. Uh, but we're going to call this Yori after Yori the Hypno that carried us for a good portion of our Fire Red Nuzlocke. And I'm going to quickly pop back and heal now. Okay, so we're back here in the forest. Let's have a talk to this guy. Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. The Farfetch'd cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. Where? If you step on a branch, they will face you, toward you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you could do that? Do you think maybe you could go do it? Your Pokemon. Jeez. Nidorino. We could have had Nidorino. They're all very low leveled. Uh, let's pop this way. So we're going to step on there and it's going to face us. Uh, what way do I need you to face? Is that the way I need you to face? Because I can now sneak behind you. I feel like maybe it is. You've got sensitive ears, but like I can sneak up behind you, which makes no sense. But never mind. Let's just sneaky sneaky up on this far fetched. And that's one Farfetch down. I feel like there's another one. Wow, you found a Farfetch, thank you. But there is one more missing. If you step on a branch, we'll face that way, remember? That's your chance to catch it. Sneak up on it slowly from behind. Again, why are you making us do all your dirty work? Find your own Farfetch'd. Ooh, item. What's this item going to be? It is a Chesto Berry. I don't know what it that does. Uh, I don't know how useful a berry is. I'm guessing this Farfetch is around here somewhere. There he is. So we've got to try and sneak up on you from behind somehow. Uh, can we... Well, I can't sneak up on you from behind now. Maybe I need to make you, like, run elsewhere. I feel like maybe we need to make you run elsewhere. Ah, Deoxys. Okay. I mean, the likelihood of us actually catching that, even at level 5, was probably minimal, so. So if I do that, it runs away. 
I still can't get behind you there, I don't think. Not unless... Or maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't, though. So, Gassy, that would have been quite cool, because, uh, Gengar. So, if I did that, now you're facing that way, but there's physically no way of me... Yeah, okay, so we got to get you somewhere else. we got to get you somewhere else. Awesome, so we finally caught that really annoying Farfetch. Wow, you got me both of them. Oh, sorry, that's not your voice. Thank you so much. My boss is Pokemon, I want a baby because I don't have a badge. Ugh, you saved me. It says your boss. Ah, my far and fetched. You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I fuck you? I know, here, I take this. And we get HMO1, which does mean we can continue on our journey, but we are going to have to cheat someone. Cut. How annoying. Who are we going to teach cut? Let's have a quick look. Uh, who can learn cut? That's the question. Cut. 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 Who can learn cut? Uh, Pearl and Lucifer can, which I'm not teaching it to them. Pyro and Belladonna. I guess we just teach it to Belladonna for the moment, maybe. Yeah, let's just get rid of Absorb for the moment. I guess that's the best thing to get rid of. It does mean we can continue on. I really dislike HMs. I really liked it like Let's Go Eevee. And let's go Pikachu that you no longer had HMs. That was great. Ilex Forest Shrine is a tribute to the Forest Protector. Awesome. Guessing that's Celebi. We've got more encounters that we don't really want or need. Come on, we've got to get through here. I don't think it's too long a forest. I've got some water there. It feels like there must be something down here. Although it might just be a tree headbutting encounter thing. Oh, no, we got a dive ball. I'm not sure how that useful that is because I don't think you can actually dive in this game. But, you know, it is what it is. It's all good. Let's try and get through this forest. Uh, I think that guy over there actually gives you the, H, uh, the HM, the TM for headbutt as well. We've got a Macargo here. Um, none of them are really worth fighting though because of their low levels. Oh. Kimino girl, Kimino girl, last and all alone. Poor girl, last in the dark, Ilex forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? Yeah, sure. You will. Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of here? This guy, Zanzibar, knows where he's going. Wow, are you going to show me how to get out? You're such a smart Pokemon. See you. Um, could you not have just worked that out on your own? I mean, seriously, it is literally you turn around and walk over there. It doesn't exactly give you uh, a lot of options on where you can go, to be honest. Let's keep going out. We're going to get out ourselves. Honestly, I probably need to invest in some repels. Hashtag bars. Uh, let's get out of here, though. We are out. There's a person here. That's quite cool. Let's talk to this person. Did you see the shrine that pays homage to the protector? This protector watches over the forest from across time. I think it must be a grass type Pokemon. You would be correct. Oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex? You must be battling all kinds of Pokemon. Try trying this. Blah, 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 blah. Try using this TM for a change. We've got TM12, which I believe. Okay, so it should be Taunt. I was about to say I swear it's. Um... Sweet Scent normally, but I guess not. And TM12 is now Future Sight. Not the best move. Not the best move in the world, if we're completely honest. Uh, we are on Route 34 now, though, which does mean... Encounters! We're going to go straight in here and get this encounter. Straight in here and get this encounter. What are we going to get as our encounter? Our encounter for Route 34 is going to be... Atropius, and I am not mad at that. I am not mad at all at that, to the point I would consider adding that into my team. I would consider adding that into the team. Uh, I guess the best thing here is to just go for a knockoff. Oh, I don't like that. No, no, no. Not a fan. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. Why would I do that? He says, still staying in and going for a stun spore, but it's all good. 
Um, we are going to get straight out of here and we're going to stop and we're going to actually think properly here. So we can't go into Zanzibar because the grass type moves. We can't really go into Pearl because the gra uh, grass type moves. Uh, we can go into Lucifer, but it's just going to kill you. We can go to Pyro, it's just going to kill you. So I guess we're just going to Tesla and try and like go for some chip damage. Oh, hold on. Did Tesla learn Sonic Boom? Or is that like something else I'm playing that I'm thinking of? No, no, Tesla and Sonic Boom. You're going to have at least 20 HP. I mean, theoretically, yeah, we should be able to do one more, right? And you're paralyzed. We should be able to do one more there. Let's just go for a tackle. Tackle's going to do less than 20, surely. Yeah, tackle does way less than 20. Okay, our defense is falling though, which I don't like much, but it's okay. Okay. Tropius is going for another growth. I'm getting very scared here. Let's throw a Pokeball at you, though. Let's throw a Pokeball at you. I do like a Tropius. I think it's got really cool dual typing. The grass and flying is clutch. And we're going to catch it as well. And you can't ask for a lot more than that. It's data going to be added to Pokedex. Let's have a read what we say. So it's Ghost Flying and it's a fruit Pokemon. Love those little, those little bananas under there. A bunch of fruit around its neck ripens twice a year and is delicious. It's a highly favoured tropical snack. Uh, and we're going to nickname this. I've been looking for a Pokemon that I think is an appropriate nickname this. To name, uh, we are going to nickname this Tropius after Ram the Raider. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing and commenting on our video, Ram. Uh, and I hope you enjoy being a Tropius. We'll have a proper look at you when we get to the next town. Um, we'll have a look in the PC. But I, I'm actually pretty happy with that encounter. Just because of its typing. Let's just get some more battles in though. We're going to battle our way up this route. And get uh, to the next town. Is the next town Goldenrod? I'm pretty sure the next town is Goldenrod. We've got a level 7, 9 tails. Oh my goodness. Why are the levels like... How do we go from doing... Like, the last gym leader's ace was level 17. And on the next route after, the Pokemon's trainers are level 7. And it really baffles me, the mechanics behind this. Um, and I do think it makes it both really easy and really hard. Because it makes it really easy. I think I'm going to stay in and go for one rollout here. It makes it really easy to beat the trainers in the middle, but then it makes it really hard because you're like under leveled when you get to the gym. And you're either having to grind up or you're having to go into the gym like severely under levels. And especially by the time you get to the eighth gym, like, oh, it's another one that we're weak to, but we're still using rollout and I think we should just okay. So we are staying in. Oh my God, we're slower than a level 10 bell sprout. I mean, I know we're slow, but it's a level 10 bell sprout, Zandy Bar. Can you sort yourself out, please? I'm sorry, Zandy Bar. I love you, really. Uh, we're just staying on the bronze song as well. I think, hopefully, we should have one more rollout in us. We do have one more rollout. Bronze song is also as slow as you like. And Zandy Bar's just going to sweep that team. And go to level 17. When are you learning a ground type move? No, not today. Awesome. It's all good. It might be because this Fampy actually ground type. Because obviously Zanzibar should be a Fampy at this point. I have a funny feeling that um, Fampy isn't a ground type. In fact, I'm going to look right now because it's going to bug me otherwise. Let's just have a quick look. Fampy, 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 Fampy. No, you are ground. You're pure ground. I thought maybe you were normal or something. You just, I guess you just don't want to learn a... Uh, you don't want to learn any moves of the ground typing. It's all good. I just got my Pokemon back from daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Let's have a look. See, we're going to like speed through these, I think, because I mean, and again, now the Teddy Earth is level 13, which is a bit more reasonable of a level, although it's still below where the gym leader would be. But OK, I guess. We're going to beat that Teddy Earth, so we're not going to stay in the Gold Duck, though, because uh, I, I'm not, like, a nutter, basically. I'm not an absolute nutter that's going to leave his Fire-type Pokemon in on a Water-type. That's not what we're about here. 
he says having done that twice against Atropius five minutes ago. But we don't need to talk about that. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to get rid of this gold duck here. That train is a bit more of a reasonable level. I'm a bit happy with that. Weightlifter Joe, he's been lifting up those weights and leveling up those Pokemon. And we've got another guy here who's the best in his class at Pokemon, but only because I am not there, otherwise he would not be the best at Pokemon, because clearly I'm the best Pokemon player around here. And I'm going to prove that by setting fire to your Spearow. Okay. No, 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 don't, don't, don't cry. It's all good, it's all good. It's all good. It's fine, we've beaten that Spearow. We're going to hit level 16. Uh, and we're going to see a Glammeow. Uh, I mean, let's just bring out Pearl. Pearl seems like an appropriate show of force for a Glammeow. I feel. I feel this is an absolutely appropriate show of force for a Glammeow that's going to use Fake Out. How dare you. You can't hit us with those tiny paws. It's all good. It's a crit as well. I never actually checked if Water Pulse was like a 100% accuracy uh, move. Oh, I love he's actually just said that if I was in his class, he would be the second best student. Nah. You're damn right. Uh, let's just have a look a second. Water Pulse. No, it, it's not. We're just getting incredibly lucky with Water Pulse. That's interesting. Palkia is like carrying us. Grandpa! Oh, it's Lyra with a little Meryl. Is it a Zoomeryl? Is it a Meryl? I'm not sure. Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you've raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit too. Hello. Hi, Jay. Let me introduce you. This is Jay. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. <laughs> not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, Jay. In this house we go. She's kidnapping us. Lyra is kidnapping us. Somebody call the police. Grandma, let me up and choose my friend. This is Jay. <laughs> this is your boy. Oh, no, that's my grandma. <laughs> this is your boy. Friend. I see. Hmm. What, grandma, what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. Nah, <laughs> I know, I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure about his talent. Right, Jay? Come and see us any time. Well, I better go now. See ya. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, this is my poker gear number. You can't turn around to your grandma and say, uh, well, not like that, and then chuck me your, uh, your phone number in the same conversation. Uh, I don't want you to raise any Pokemon for me, I don't think. Oh, hello. I have an idea, I'll give you our numbers. I'm just getting this whole family's numbers all at once. Just all of their numbers. I know I know grandma, grandpa, Lyra, all of these peeps. What's for you? What are you doing? I have no idea why he's that voice. But he seems like a grumpy dude that's flashing his light in my eyes. Lazy Florentino. Uh, and he's uh, straight up level 17 because, again... Uh, I'm not really sure what the logic of leveling up is in this game, but oh my god, it's a crit and I flinched and nope, not today. Lucifer, get out here and deal with this normal type Pokemon. You are a normal type saviour. Stop dropping my accuracy. Absolutely not. Not today. We're not a fan. Get breathed on by a dragon. Assuming we can hit you because you're dropping all my moves. Oh, that annoys me. Don't, you can't tickle Satan. You cannot tickle Satan. What are you doing? Why are you tickling Satan? Why am I having to switch Pokemon twice to deal with a Mambi Pom? Why is this so annoying? <laughs> it's all good. We're going to tickle the other dragon now. Just tickle the little dragon's belly. We're going to lower our attack. We're going to lower our defense. We're going to lower all of our things. Stop tickling me, you... Four-armed little monkey. We'll just go for that water pulse. It's good. One day we'll hit a water pulse and get a confusion. Today we'll hit a water pulse and get a confusion. That's good. Slap yourself in the face of all four of your hands. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All four of those hands slapping in the amber palm in his own face. He's literally beating himself up. He's trying to hit all those birds. It's all good. Everyone gets a bit of experience. We don't mind this. We do not mind this. The group stealing other people's Pokemon seem to be growing lately. She be shirtful too. Why are you attacking me? No, but seriously, dude. Like, you can't just attack a civilian. Otherwise, this guy's gonna eat you. Eat him. Eat him, pal. Eat him! <laughs> can, can Palkia eat a human? Who knows? I'm confident my ability to raise Pokemon. Want to see? Yeah, sure. Let's have a look at your Pokemon. What level are they? It's a fun game we're playing. What level are they? It's alright, I can't. It's level 14. Again, that's a bit more reasonable. And we're going to just hit you with a water pulse again. Can we get two confusions in a row? It doesn't matter. We're never going to find out. It's a critical hit. You've been beaten by a pearl. Who is going to level 16. It's all good. Honestly, we've got Giratina and Pearl on our team. I mean, is there really any way we lose this Nuzlocke? I don't want your phone number. Like, if I'm playing this as a Let's Play, I will get everyone's phone numbers. But as a Nuzlocke, uh, I, I, don't, I don't want any of these people calling me. I'm not going to come back and talk to them. We've got Goldenrod City here. We're going to go straight in and heal up our Pokemon. I say straight in, we're going to just talk to these people here. High level Pokemon doesn't always win. After all, it might have a type disadvantage. I don't think there is a single Pokemon that's the toughest. Gengar disagrees. Actually, Gengar is like defensively shoddy. He's defensively shoddy. Great everything else, in my opinion. But, uh, shoddy. Why we are here as well, we need to have a quick look at Ram. Artropius, who I am still like, ah, do I get, do I, uh, do I get him out of the box? Why are you in box 18? Do da, do da. I'm gonna have to move these Pokemon, do da, do da, day. I don't like their default into box 18, it's really quite annoying. Are they gonna keep default into box 18 until I do something in box 1? Uh, I mean, that could be the case, I guess. So, just in case it is, let's just deposit someone and withdraw someone from box 18. So, we're going to deposit Belladonna. And we are going to have a look at... Uh, no, she's gone straight into box 18 as well. We're going to have a look at Ram. Let's have a look at our Ram. So, Ram is a gentle nature. It means he has a higher special defense, but lower defense. Probably not too bad for this Pokemon. We've got Solar Power, which boosts our special attack, but lowers our HP in Sunshine. Again, how often are we going to have Sunshine up, though? Uh, and we've got Leer, Gust, Growth, and Razor Leaf. He's actually pretty decent. Uh, a moderately more offensive than Gloom. Do I keep Ram out of the box? You know what? I think we are going to keep Ram out and gloom him. Uh, purely because this is a Nuzlocke and Ram is slightly more offensive than gloom. Um, I think that's the right decision. And there is little Ram following us. Hi, Ram. Your Pokemon stretched out his body and is relaxing. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Let's heal up our tree. Actually, our tree is fine, but let's heal up the rest of our Pokemon at least. And we stored our Pokemon to full health. We're going to save here and end the episode for the day. But when we come back next time, uh, which will be tomorrow, we are going to have a look around Goldenrod, um, see what there is to find there, do some exploring. Might take on the gym. If you have enjoyed today's content, though, do please drop a like down below on the video and do consider subscribing as well if you press the notification bell next to the subscription button you do get told by youtube about all of our content and it would really help out the channel and we can uh, you can follow along when we make some more cool stuff that we've got coming up and follow along with this and us lock until next time though guys thank you very much for watching bye